Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for our national anthem. You may be seated. What is that for? On behalf of the spring class of 2022, the faculty, staff, students, and alumni, I would like to welcome all of you to the commencement exercises at Georgia Southwestern State University. I'd like to thank Triana Matthews, one of our graduating seniors today, and Alwyn Young for our national anthem. Thank you very much. That was terrific. Those of us who work here, we understand that a college campus is a wonderful place. There are many special and exciting days each year. We get to enjoy the art shows, the games, the concerts, homecoming, student awards, banquets, waffles with the weavers. But twice each year, we come together to celebrate our most important and most exciting event, commencement. Georgia Southwestern's campus is full of extraordinary men and women, and we cherish our unique position from which we get to watch you grow. And because of this, we take tremendous joy from your successes and we take great pride in your accomplishments. When we hear the, your name called, when we see the smiles on your family's faces, we hear the shouts and the cheering from the crowd, we remember why we chose this profession. All of us, all of us at GSW are proud of you, and we are especially proud for you. At this time, I would like to introduce the platform guests. If you would please hold your applause until all have been introduced. 
It will save us 15 minutes at the next cabinet meeting deciding who the most popular is. Mr. Jeff Hall, Vice President for Business and Finance. Dr. Laura Boren, Executive Vice President for Student Engagement and Success. Dr. Suzanne Smith, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Regent Barbara Rivera Holmes. Miss Kathleen Tucker, past president of the GSW Alumni Association. On the back row is Dr. Mark Laughlin, the interim dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Gaynor Chokas, dean of the College of Business and Computing. Dr. Rachel Abbott, dean of the College of Education. Dr. Sandra Daniel, dean of the College of Nursing and Health Sciences. And Mrs. Krista Smith, our university registrar. Would you please help me recognize these distinguished individuals? We also have some special guests with us here today. Is the mayor here? Mayor Kinneman? There he is, Mayor Kinneman. Uh, nice to have you here, not only as the mayor, but a uh, proud father of some graduates today, right? Congratulations. And of course, uh, my wife, uh, Christy, is here with us today as well, and she's proud of all of you, just like the rest of us. I would also like to take a moment to recognize uh, a couple other groups of people who are really important, and I know there's some of them with us today. They serve us selflessly as first responders, as protectors of freedom, and as frontline healthcare workers. I would ask uh, any of our students, graduates, or any of our guests, if you are currently serving or have served in our armed forces, are a first responder with police or fire, uh, or are providing outstanding health care as a uh, working as a nurse or a medical professional, would you please stand and let us thank you for your service? The spring 2022 graduating class includes 293 students. 231 are earning their bachelor's degree, 61 are earning a master's degree, and one is earning her specialist degree today. Our youngest students earning a bachelor's degree are 20 years old. And uh, Morgan Christian, I know, wanted me to specifically mention her. Are there other 20-year-olds out there besides Morgan who wanted? Any other 20-year-olds? Yeah. There you go. The oldest student earning a bachelor's degree today is 52 years old. The youngest student earning a master's degree is 22, and the oldest is 67. There are graduates today from 11 countries in addition to the United States, Brazil, Canada, France, Germany, India, Nepal, Nigeria, Republic of Korea, Trinidad, no, I mean, Thailand, Trinidad and Tobago, and Vietnam. There are also graduates from 12 states other than Georgia. California, Colorado, Connecticut, Florida, Hawaii, Illinois, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, North Carolina, New Jersey, and Texas. And I just, I just got to say, earlier today we had a reception for students who did their entire degree online. And, and in that group, I met 
Two that for, are from California and one that came from Austria. I think we listed her as Germany on here, but Austria. And, I, and so this was their first time to be on campus at Georgia Southwestern. So I want to thank them for the effort that it takes to come to this ceremony and congratulate them. There are 21 students earning their second degree from Georgia Southwestern. Of the 231 bachelor's degrees, 113 of those students started at GSW as first time freshmen. 118 started somewhere else and transferred to, G to GSW. Of those 113 who started here as freshmen, 74 are graduating in four years or less. If you are among that group of 74 who are graduating in four years uh, or less, would you please stand and let us congratulate you. While we are certainly proud of those young men and women who experienced college in a very traditional way, I also want to recognize all those graduating students whose path to this ceremony took some different routes. The numbers tell us that the GSW student body is diverse, and for each of you, there is a very unique story. There could be single parents, there could have been medical issues, homelessness, financial challenges, language barriers. There are many challenges to overcome, and you may have faced one of those, or multiple of those, or even some of those challenges that exist in this world that I didn't mention. And they might have slowed you down, but they did not derail you. So for all of you who followed a less direct path to the ceremony today, I want you to know that you have my admiration and my respect. Now, you don't have to stand up, but if you are one of those folks who didn't get it done in exactly four years, and you'd like to stand up and let us congratulate you on what you've accomplished today, I invite you to stand up and let us celebrate with you. Well done. This graduating class includes uh, Ian Nguyen and Min Deep, who were both recognized as GSW Outstanding Scholars by the USG, Ian in 2021 and Min in 2022. Jacob Peed is among a very, very few former students who have been both Mr. GSW and the homecoming king. And he might be the only one who's done both of those and been Surge. This class includes Dante Tatum, who played basketball right here on this court and became an all-conference basketball player. And it includes Caitlin Wood, who not only was an all-conference and all-region softball player, but she also set the GSW record for most RBIs in a season. There's Jackie Granado and Laurel Carey. Jackie came to GSW all the way from Americas, and Laurel came to GSW from Jamaica through Atlanta, but they came together and they shared the red carpet at our first TEDx event hosted at GSW. And ironically, Jackie is going to go away and study international business, and Laurel is gonna stay here and work for GSW. This class includes Brooke Tome, who works every day in, to help students be successful 
as an executive assistant in the Student Engagement and Success Division. And it includes Scott Cavanaugh, who worked at Phoebe Hospital in Albany while completing his MBA. And we know that there was really nothing going on at the hospital for the last two years, so he had plenty of time. This class also includes Brandon Blue. Brandon Blue, I met him right here in this room on his preview day when he won a $500 scholarship. He, he has gone on to become, among other things, a Thunder Camp leader, a storm spotter, an orientation leader, and president of the student body. But most impressively, and probably most improbably, he became Lauren's husband. This class created Thunder Camp. It opened Kane Central and Flory Chapel Gym. You created the Blue and Gold Week. You launched Surge's Street Eats food truck. And you made Gold Force Thursday a tradition. And of course, you did all of this while navigating a global pandemic. When you came to GSW, we asked that you not only study and learn an academic discipline, but that you also connect with this university, that you support and help your classmates be successful, and to make this university better than when you arrived. And you have done that. This is an amazing class of graduates. The good news for you is that every organization that is hiring is looking for people that will be really good at their assignment, but that will also connect with the organization, help and support their colleagues to be successful, and make the organization better than when they arrived. So you are prepared, and you should go into those job interviews confident that you can do exactly what they're looking for. You are also the first incoming class to receive the GSW silver coin. I asked when you entered if you would keep the coin and at some point in your career, give it to somebody that made a difference for you while you are here. I know that many of you have done this and I'm excited that you've participated. Today on your chair, I hope that you didn't knock it off or not see it, but all of you are getting a gold GSW coin today as graduates. And I want you to keep that coin with you as a symbol of your relationship with the university and as a reminder that you've overcome all of those challenges to earn your degree. But the silver coin is a, is a lesson and I hope that all of you will, from time to time in your life, take a moment to recognize and thank those people who come into your life who make a difference. So with that in mind, I'd like us to take a moment to recognize all of those people who made sacrifices so that you could be successful. No achievement comes without sacrifice, and many of you were able to attend Georgia Southwestern because of the sacrifices of others. I know many of those people are here with us today. They are excited for you and ready to celebrate this accomplishment with you. It might be your mom and dad, your grandparents, your spouse, or your children, your brothers, or your sisters, or some combination of all those people and others. No matter who they are, I know from looking around this absolutely jam-packed arena that for each of you, there is someone so graduates, would you help me take this opportunity to thank all of the people who made it possible for you to be here with us today? There are also many members of the Georgia Southwestern faculty with us this afternoon, and they are here to share this exciting moment with you. 
GSW's faculty is an outstanding group of professionals who take great pride in their work, and they take great pride in their students. A substantial percentage have earned their doctorates and in many disciplines have brought Georgia Southwestern not only statewide, but also regional, national, and international recognition. They care a great deal about each and every student they teach, and it is their caring that is on display this afternoon. Would you please join me in expressing our appreciation for the outstanding members of our faculty and for their commitment to you and to this university? Graduates, today you are joining a very distinguished group of individuals. You are a Georgia Southwestern alumni. And that designation and that distinction will stay with you all your life. The value of your relationship with the institution and your connection with your alma mater will be up to you. But the best way to increase the value of your degree over time is to become an active member of the GSW Alumni Association. At Georgia Southwestern, we want to be your lifelong educational partner. So here to further explain the benefits of the association is the past president of the GSW Alumni Association, Ms. Kathleen Tucker. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, family, friends, our revered faculty and staff, and especially you, the graduates. Um, I am very honored and excited to be a part of uh, today's awesome occasion. And as one of several items on today's program, keeping you from your diplomas, and any post-ceremony festivities, I promise to keep my comments brief. Allow me to be just one of many to congratulate you on all of your outstanding academic accomplishments. Accomplishments achieved in a rather unusual and somewhat challenging environment these past few years. During your academic careers, you have had to transition between what I would call the traditional normal college experience of wide open campuses, bustling with activity and in-person classes to one that was totally non-traditional and almost abnormal with closed, quiet campuses and online learning, and then you get to go back to normal again. To me, this is a testament of your resiliency to shift, adjust, and adapt to whatever may be thrown at you. And most importantly, through it all, you came out on top. Today, you are graduates of Georgia Southwestern State University in your respective fields and programs of study. And as the immediate past president of the Georgia Southwestern State University Alumni Association, I confer upon you the esteemed title of alumni. I extend to you a warm welcome as you are now part of a great network of individuals who have once been where you are. As you prepare to be tremendous assets to society in your various fields and careers, please remember the opportunities and exceptional education that you received here at GSW. I ask that you reflect on the commitment that fellow alums and community members have for you and this institution and ponder how they have helped shape you into the individuals you are today. As a graduate, you represent much of all that is good and great about GSW. Consequently, much of what the public will think, hear, read, and believe about our alma mater will largely be based on the actions and good deeds of graduates like you. Your past accomplishments, your future achievements, the way in which you live, and the values by which you live will reflect upon the educational values of GSW. In this new role of alumni, you will be called upon to do many things. Through your wisdom, knowledge, and experience, you will be called upon to pay it forward, if you will. For example, you may be called upon to host internships or mentor students at your place of work and help a current student get valuable and much needed practical work experience in their field of study. Or you may be called upon to serve as an ambassador 
for GSW through the Alumni Association. The mission of the Alumni Association is to unite and encourage alumni loyalty, support, and involvement in the university. I know you are already well versed in the available social media outlets and various tools of electronic communication. I encourage you to continue to use these resources to stay in touch with your family and your friends, your classmates, teachers, professors. It is through these bonds and open lines of communication that we find the support and strength we sometimes desperately need. For me, it has been a rewarding experience to be a graduate of GSW and now to be a part of the GSW Alumni Association. I have met some amazing individuals, learned so much from them, and we have had a great deal of fun in the process. Once again, congratulations on your graduation, and I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you. Today it is my pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker, Barbara Rivera Holmes. She currently serves as the president and CEO of the Albany Area Chamber of Commerce and she represents the second congressional district on the University System of Georgia Board of Regents, which oversees Georgia Southwestern State University. As you can see from her bio in the program, she is a champion for her, for her, of her community and this region of the state. She advocates for economic growth, and she is a tireless champion for building a community and a state that is focused on fairness, inclusion, and opportunity for all people. What is not included in the bio, but that I have learned about her over the past four years, is that she is also a tireless advocate for you and for GSW. She believes deeply in the power of education to transform lives, and she never misses an opportunity to highlight and celebrate the incredible students throughout the university system. She is an energizer. She spreads positive energy wherever she goes. And I am thrilled that she is here with us today. Please join me in welcoming Regent Holmes. That may be the nicest introduction I've ever received, Dr. Weaver. Thank you so much. Whew. This really is an exciting day, and so I'm going to just take a second to, to take it all in. But I really am delighted and am honored to be here today and to celebrate your achievements during the Georgia Southwestern State University Spring 2022 commencement. I want to thank Dr. Weaver again for that wonderful introduction and for his leadership and for his vision for Georgia Southwestern. Mostly, I want to acknowledge each of you and your talent, your tenacity, and your spirit. It is a big day for you, and you deserve to be recognized. And so I suspect that throughout the day, we will continue to have a lot of cheers, a lot of hollers, a lot of clapping and hugging, and you are completely deserving. And so I'll say today is a little bit about me too, and it really isn't, not actually at all, but it is a big day for me, because speaking in front of audiences is something I do nearly every day, but this is only my second ever, and depending on how it goes, it could be possibly my last ever commencement speech. And today's a family affair for you, and it almost was for me. You see, I really wanted to bring my nine-year-old daughter, Alex. This morning we had field day at school. It went amazing, as you would expect. Nine-year-olds have a lot of fun during field day. And on field day, the kids are allowed to go home right after. And so I wanted her to come. And she's mature and inquisitive, and I take her almost everywhere with, with me and with my husband. I knew that she would spend almost this entire ceremony asking about snack time, and is it over yet? And you may be asking, is it over yet? But I assure you, we've just begun. But I didn't bring her even though I really wanted her to, but I did promise her a photo. So if you'll indulge me for just a moment, could we take a couple of selfies? And I'll tell you, I should know how to do this because my mother, who I joke is our family social media manager and has a selfie stick, has taught me how to do it. So I'm gonna take a photo, I'm gonna take one this way and that way, and I'm gonna share with my mother and with my daughter, and you will have made their day. So we're just gonna take a moment to do that, okay. So we're gonna take one this way first.
All right, are we in? Is everybody in? I mean, you don't know. I'm in. All right, we're going to take one this way. Oh, nope, that's the wrong way to do it. I'm not my mom. Okay. Awesome. Great. Thank you. So if you would like copies of this photo, you let me know. <laughs> so like I said, you may already be wondering, as with my daughter, is this over? And you may forget all about the speech once you toss that cap, and I do hope you toss that cap. But I won't, and it's not just because I have a photo. I, I'll think about what I didn't say and that I should have, and what I did say that I shouldn't have, and I'll think about how your facial expressions and your body language will respond to my remarks, and I'll wonder if anything I said stuck, and if one day it'll provide you with some guidance. If you don't remember a thing I say, and I will say this, I had three people when I got on campus tell me you would not remember, so I'm feeling really good right now. But if you don't remember anything I say, I really won't know. But I do know that neither of us will forget this day, perhaps for very different reasons. We will never forget this incredible experience. And so this commencement ceremony is most certainly about you, and it is about all the people that have helped you arrive right here, your tribe, your families, your friends, your professors, your mentors, your advocates, your champions, probably even your haters, and I say that in a very Taylor Swift kind of way. So even on the days when you felt empty and alone, there was something, there was someone that inspired you to keep going, that fueled you to be better. I'll never forget the day that I realized that it is people that make things happen. And let me just expand. Institutions don't make things happen, nor do companies. It's people. Those big groups that we think are so powerful, they're made of people who make choices that shape direction. So let me commend you, let me thank you for your choices. Every choice you make and every choice that you don't make leads somewhere. And some choices are small. They're small steps, and you may not even know that you're making a choice that you've moved in one direction or the other, and some choices are leaps, and every choice sets a path to a destination. In fact, through a series of your choices and a series of my choices, we are here together today in celebration of you. 21 years ago, don't do the math, 21 years ago I was at my college graduation. I was enjoying the pomp and the circumstance of it all, and I was thinking, this is it. This is the day. This is it, and I can make anything happen. And there is so much opportunity and possibility in this world, and I can go out there, I can work with others, I can be a part of it, and I can do it. And you know what? I still feel that way. I still have that awe every single day. I get starry-eyed and excited, and it makes work and life fun. So I'm motivated by making things better, and that can be small and that can be big, by visioning what's possible and then finding a way to do it. I'm in the business of creating the conditions for economic growth and opportunity, which sounds very serious. And it can be, but it's also a lot of fun if you make it fun. So as the president and CEO of the Albany Area Chamber of Commerce, I'm responsible for helping, helping craft the strategic direction of our 112-year-old business advocacy organization, and then working with staff and partners to implement a purpose-driven strategy. And one of our priorities is to facilitate strong, intentional, and outcome-driven partnerships between business and education. And we do so because, remember when I said that it's people that run the world? Well, without the talented, skilled, and creative people like you, businesses can't succeed. You are their most valuable asset. You are our most valuable asset. So without the right talent, businesses don't grow, no matter what initiatives anyone else puts in place. And access to education and training is an equalizer. Education informs people and perspectives. It transforms lives and communities and economies, often generationally. And that's my motivation for service on the Board of Regents, because I believe in you, and I believe in the transformative power of education, and I believe that together we can change the world. And I like change. I like the change that allows us to go from where we are to where we can be, to grow, to evolve, and it's not always easy, of course, and often that feeling of being uncomfortable is growth. So I invite you, when you have that uncomfortable feeling of growth, to just sit with it, 
learn it, and then leverage it. The school, for example, it has evolved throughout its years. It has changed, it has thoughtfully realigned training and programs and curriculum to ensure that it's relevant to the marketplace and to you, its customers. The availability of an educated and skilled workforce is the most pressing business factor of today. Yesterday, I met with a large manufacturer that needs to grow its workforce to meet product demand. And the owner said to me, business right now is 100% limited by people capacity. All the pieces are there. The market wants the product. It's limited by people capacity. And I share that story with you because businesses across our state and across our country are hungry for you, for your talent, your work ethic, your skill set. By understanding your unique talents and what employers need, and then seeking training here at Georgia Southwestern, you've improved your ability to compete in the marketplace. You're now a well-qualified prospect to businesses that create jobs. And when you get that job, and if you don't already have it, I spoke with many students today, and you're so far ahead, you are lined up. And so that is awesome. But if you don't have that job already, your training will get you there, and it will allow you to earn more, which will allow you to support yourself and your family. It will allow you to reinvest in your community, in, in this organization as an alumni, and then the economy and all will grow. So you see, access to education and your decision to attain it directly impact the economic opportunities of Americas, of Southwest Georgia, and all of the communities that you will touch. And since the world is flat, right, our economic growth here plays a role in the strength of the state, the national and global economies. And think about this, if, if attaining an education can lead to increased wages, new jobs, and economic growth, what then is the equal and opposite reaction of foregoing an education? It's the loss of earning potential, the loss of jobs in the contractual economies. So I want to thank my fellow regents, Chancellor Sonny Perdue, Dr. Weaver, and the entire leadership of this university, and most importantly, each of you, for making the decisions and the choices that lead to opportunity. But let's be real. We can talk about opportunity all day. And these are very clearly words and possibility and opportunity are words that I like. But it's, it's hard, and it's a struggle, and we heard about that a little bit earlier, about what it took students to get here today to this point. But it's real, and it's good, and it shapes you, and it gives you grit, and we all need grit. I didn't say grits, although they're very good. I just said grit, singular. And so grit, what is it? The essence of grit is elusive, but we can try and define it as the convergence of courage, passion, resilience, determination, and focus that facilitates action aligned with purpose. So grit keeps you moving toward your goals, even if reaching them is uncertain. Grit allows you to fall, to stand back up, and to take action, to get pushed and push back and regain your footing. Grit doesn't allow you to choose paralysis. And so I think I was born with a certain amount of grit, but I learned a lot about resiliency from my family. In 1961, after much resistance, my family fled Fidel Castro's cruelty and injustice, abandoning everything generations of our family had built and leaving family they would never see again. My grandparents sought safe harbor and new opportunity in America, arriving from Cuba with one suitcase and $25, $5 each for my grandfather, my grandmother, my mother, my aunt, and my uncle, and they spoke no English. They registered as political exiles at the Freedom Tower in Miami, and then relocated to Puerto Rico, where many decades later I was born. And I come from a long line of business people and leaders, but most importantly, I come from a line of fighters. And my husband will attest to it, and my daughter will attest to it as well, and she's inherited that character trait and proudly exhibits it daily. So I'm descended from people who fought for Cuban independence from the Spanish-American War from people who died for the liberties and ideals that all of us enjoy today, that I enjoy as a first-generation American. When my father, grandfather arrived in this country, he left everything behind. But what he did not leave behind was his grit, his fortitude, his pain, and his courage, despite the adversity. And my family reset, it redefined, it reestablished, and it prospered. Barbarita, hay que lograr y hay que mejorar. We must achieve and we must improve, my grandfather would say. Y la única manera es luchando pa'lante. The only way, he would say, is forward and fight. And so that is my direction, forward and fight, luchando pa'lante to make things better. 
I will share with you that this year, I'm four years older than my mother was when she was unexpectedly widowed and left to raise me, my brother, and my sister. And I watched her, exhausted, heartbroken, and overworked, somehow pay all the bills, and then find the resolve to get us from brand practice to sports meetings to academic awards banquets. And that's because she also knew that there was but one path, and it was luchando palante. It was forward and fight. Luchando palante is, is an axiom that is in my heart, and it is in my bones, and it informs my actions and my life. But I have throughout the years also accumulated others that I keep close to me and that help shape my mindset. And some of these I've collected through readings. Some of these I have learned <laughs> the very hard way. And I want to share a few of them with you because I hope you will reflect on them and draw from them. So the first is progress over perfection. And this is such an important one that we've actually written it into the cultural values of our organization. Progress over perfection. Your professors don't want to tell you, but sometimes 80% is good enough. Okay. And the cost of perfection is inaction. And we'll talk about action in a moment. So just remember that I'm not going to go into an example for each one, but just sit with those as we talk through them. Rule your mind, or your mind will rule you. And worry solves nothing. And sometimes people ask me what my superpower is. And I think my superpower is, is mind control. Control your mind, control your reactions, control how you respond to things and how you feel, and you can do anything. The unknown is where all possibilities exist, and enter it with grace. Take action. Action creates energy. Energy creates outcomes. Fail often and fail fast. And don't be afraid to fail. It means that you're trying. If you are not failing, you are not trying. And if you are not trying, you are stuck. Finish strong. So get back up. You're going to fail, but finish strong. Keep at it. Leave nothing unimportant unsaid, whether that's in business or whether that's in your personal relationships. Leave nothing unimportant unsaid. Courage changes behavior. So small acts of courage every single day change your behavior. Courage is not being unafraid. It is doing it anyway. It is working through your fear and just luchando palante, continue to move forward. Direct the mind towards solutions and not problems. Otherwise, your mind will be all problems and no solutions. And design the path. You get to create your path. You take action, you take your passion, and you create your path. No one creates it for you. It's completely, completely up to you. And throughout your careers and your lives, you will make mistakes. You will make daily ones. I do. Everyone does. Some mistakes are small. Some will be big. You need to own them. You need to remember them. You need to celebrate them. Every day, I ask our daughter at dinner time, what was your best mistake of today? It wasn't, what are the things that you're proudest about today? What did you accomplish? It was, and we asked lots of questions at dinner. But what was your best mistake today? What did you learn through this process, through this, this circumstance that you had? And now she tells me about all her mistakes, which is a great truth-telling vehicle. So learn from them. Try not to repeat the same mistakes. I mean, this is about a learning process. And use the lessons you learn to help you grow and to make better decisions next time. I want you to take your passion and your determination, your vision for what is possible. And with every decision you make, put them in action toward what is right and what is good. It is tough, and it is sometimes depleting. But when you get tired, don't give up. Take a rest and then let hope, courage, and love replenish you. Whether you go into the workforce, you continue your education, you join the armed forces, and you find a different path, your choices will help realize the economic opportunity and the economic prosperity of this community and this region that we love so much. And your choices will afford you a better life and for those closest to you. And it'll afford a better opportunity for people you don't know and people you will never meet. One day, though, in some way, you'll hopefully see the impact of your decisions. So make your decisions as thoughtfully as you can with the best information that you have. Find your grit. And remember that every challenge is an opportunity. It's a possibility. And possibility is fun. It's adventure. So believe in that and live that with every choice you make. And you will shape your life. You will shape our community, this nation, and ultimately this world. 
But if you do find one day that you're not there, you're stale or uninspired, you find yourself lost or without purpose or longing to be something or someone different or to be more, wanting to be better, then I hope you choose reinvention, which can really be a beautiful thing. In fact, it's what you've already done by obtaining your education at Georgia Southwestern. So I'm gonna read you a little passage on reinvention, which has been widely miscredited to one of my favorite writers, F. Scott Fitzgerald. And it may be familiar to you and it may not, but it lays out this, this reinvention thought beautifully. For what it's worth, it's never too late, or in my case, too early, to be whoever you want to be. There's no time limit. You can stop whenever you want. You can change or you can stay the same. There are no rules to this thing. We can make the best of it or we can make the worst of it. I hope that you make the best of it. And I hope you see things that startle you. I hope you feel things that you've never felt before. I hope you meet people with a different point of view. I hope you live a life that you're proud of. And if you find that you're not, I hope you have the courage to start all over again. I wanna thank you for sharing your day with me and for allowing me to reflect with you and for the picture. I'm really excited, very excited for you. I am proud of you. I am filled with hope and joy by you. I'm expecting you to live out your purpose. I'm expecting you to be good and to be kind, to fail, to adjust, to have courage, to take action and to make things better. I hope you remember the euphoria always of the accomplishment of today and of all of the pride that everyone in this space feels for you. And I hope that if anything that I shared carries with you, it's that luchando pa'lante, forward and fight, is the only path. Congratulations on this commencement, which as the word implies, is really a beginning. And my God bless you, your families, Georgia Southwestern and the United States of America, always. Thank you. Thank you, Regent Holmes, for those thought-provoking and inspiring comments. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Suzanne Smith, and I am the Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs here at Georgia Southwestern. It's my pleasure to welcome you to our spring commencement ceremony. We're delighted to have so many family and friends with us today to celebrate this important milestone and to recognize the work that each of you has done to reach this accomplishment. I would like to acknowledge those students who are graduating with honors this year. In order to be eligible, a student must earn at least 45 semester hours of academic credit towards a bachelor's degree at Georgia Southwestern with a GSW GPA of 3.5 or above. The grade point average for honors, however, is calculated on all work completed at all accredited colleges and universities attended. Students graduating with honors are wearing the honor medallion as a part of their academic regalia today. Graduation cum laude requires a minimum 3.5 GPA. Graduation magna cum laude requires a minimum 3.7 GPA. And graduation summa cum laude requires a minimum 3.9 GPA. I'd like to ask those students graduating with honors to please stand and be recognized. Congratulations on this accomplishment. About 300 candidates will receive diplomas today for specialist, masters, and baccalaureate degrees awarded by our four colleges, each of which is chaired by an academic dean. I'd like to add my thanks to the faculty and staff of GSW who are dedicated to ensuring the academic and co-curricular needs of our students are met and to providing an exceptional experience to our students. And now, it's my pleasure to begin the conferral of degrees. Georgia Southwestern State University provides the specialist degree in education. Will the candidate for this degree please rise? President Weaver, on behalf of the faculty of Georgia Southwestern State University, 
I present for the conferring of degrees this candidate standing before us, whose name is in the printed program, and who has satisfactorily completed all the requirements for her degree. Consistent with the statutes of the state of Georgia, the rules and regulations of the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges, the rules and regulations of the University System of Georgia Board of Regents, and by the authority vested in me by the Regents, it is my pleasure to confer on you a specialist degree with all the rights, ranks, privileges, and responsibilities such a degree carries among scholars. You may now come forward and receive your degree. Receiving the Education Specialist degree is Emily Kristen Edmond. Georgia Southwestern State University provides provides the following graduate degrees. Master of Business Administration, Master of Science in Computer Science, Master of Education, and Master of Science in Nursing degrees. Will the candidates for these degrees please rise? You can share. <laughs> President Weaver, on behalf of the faculty of Georgia Southwestern State University, I present for the conferring of degrees those candidates standing before us and whose names are in the printed program who have satisfactorily completed all requirements for their degrees. Consistent with the statutes of the state of Georgia, the rules and regulations of the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges, and the rules, the regulations of the university system of Georgia Board of Regents, and by the authority vested in me by the Regents, it is my pleasure to confer on each of you the master's degree with all the rights, ranks, privileges, and responsibilities such a degree carries among scholars. You may now come forward and receive your degree. Receiving the Master of Business Administration and Master of Science in Computer Science are Gentry Scott Ashford. Olayenka Aziz. Tech Bienen. Michael Delano Coley, Sr. <laughs> Lisa Marie Gonzalez.
Hannah Rebecca Hogg. Katarina Novitsky Hosp. So the middle name is pronounced Gamon. Gamon, okay. Marcus Damon Hudson Jr. Edward J. Matthews. I got it. Taisha M. Nelson. Receiving the Master of Science in Nursing are Kenneth Dale Autry. <laughs> Teresa Banadelli. Kristen Allen Beck. <laughs> Nakasha Nicole Elliott. Leah Caroline Hall. Bridget Locke Gerard. Jeannie Williams Johnson. <laughs> Michaela Antoinette Keene. like the Academy. <laughs> Sarah Khan.
Courtney Brianna Lodler. Mark David McCloskey. Wanda Latanya Miller. Thank you. Susan C. Moa. Elizabeth Lauren Murray. Amanda Smith Nelson. Courtney Megan Oaks. Angela Marie Baisden Powell. Andrea Kittles Reed. <laughs> Lauren Cravey Spate. Ginny Diane Tejeda. Okay. Tenaria De Asia Williams. And now we move to the bachelor's degrees. You can share, it's okay. <laughs> Georgia Southwestern State University provides the following baccalaureate degrees. Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Gen General Studies, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, Bachelor of Science in Education, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Bachelor of Science in Long-Term Care Management, and Bachelor of Science in exercise science. Will the candidates for these degrees please rise? <laughs> President Weaver, on behalf of the faculty of Georgia Southwestern State University, I present for the conferring of degrees those candidates standing before us and whose names are in the printed program who have satisfactorily completed all of the requirements for their degrees. 
consistent with the statutes of the state of Georgia, the rules and regulations of the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges, the rules and regulations of the University System of Georgia Board of Regents, and by the authority vested in me by the Regents, it is my pleasure to confer on each of you the bachelor's degree with all the rights, ranks, privileges, and responsibilities such a degree carries among scholars. You may now come forward and receive your degree. Receiving the Bachelor of Arts, the Bachelor of General Studies, and the Bachelor of Science are Brianna Simone Mathis. Brandon Deshaun Blue. Congratulations, Lauren. Lauren Cree Blue. Brooks Wyndham Bowden. Asia Amia Brinson. Timothy Allen Bryan, Jr. Laurel Hermosa Carey. Carisha Destiny Coates. Amanda Bailey Cole. Thank you. Jamarcus Tarif Coley. Hunter Fitzgerald Daniel. Ashley Gabrielle Winderlin Davis. Robert Banks Davis. Tamisha Zaquail Dixon. Sarah Arlene Eberly. Jacob Michael Fonten. Dalen Ray Fretwell, cum laude. <laughs> Sylvia Carolyn Gary, cum laude. <laughs> Vanessa Johanna Geipel. <laughs> Michaela Janae Graham. Magna cum laude. Jacqueline Granado. Congratulations. Sabrina Jolie Hagler cum laude. Margaret Francis Hammond. Caitlin Renee Hooker. Saxit Jarik. Hey, Charles. Charles Hale Kinneman, cum laude. Kinsey Brooke Cobb Kinneman.
Brianne K. Crone. Gerald Ray Larkey III, summa cum laude. Gabriella Noel Lopresti. Joseph Deshaun Lovelace. Nicholas Irwin Marchant. Alexis Dakota McNall. Jada Lanaya Mike. Olivia Lee Moore. Ashley Moreno. Maggie Marie Myers, cum laude. Courtney Deandra Oliver. Kira Gail Payne. Michaela Arnice Reed, cum laude. Dalton Bryce Sheltra. Thank you. Dontavius Rakis Tatum. Juanicia J. Thompson, cum laude. Sarah Caitlin Turner, magna cum laude. Terrence Imani Washington. Gotcha. Pamela Jane Reiner Wilson. Caitlin Monroe Wood. Demetrius Jaden Wright. Katie Elizabeth Wright. Congratulations to you. Ian Van Wynn, summa cum laude. Receiving the master or the Bachelor of Business Administration and the Bachelor of Science in Computer Science are Jacory Devon Archie, Grant Boyd Auer, Mackenzie Geneva Baguette, Magna Cum Laude. Harris Stone Baker. Cassie Nicole Bass. William McKinney Bats III. Karen Yvette Bat Bedford. Morgan Kimball Bell, cum laude. 
Megan Lee Benefield. Mackenzie Lauren Briggs. Give me the last name. Okay. Neha Budatoki, cum laude. Jordan Brent Busby, summa cum laude. Andrew Michael Carter. How you doing? Shedrick Mantell Cooper Jr. I got it. <laughs> Min Fong Deep, summa cum laude. Jason James Foltz. Hunter Andrew Munden. Rachel Marie Gates. Andrew Bryant Gunn. Haley Savannah Hammett. Jink Wang Hong. Okay. Jana Patricia Hust. Taylor Ashante Jackson, magna cum laude. Aaron Danielle Johnson. J. Charles Johnson. Jesse Marshall Jordan. Jonathan O'Neill King. Okay. Sakithia Latasha Lewis. Noah Patrick Lewis. Christopher Andrew Lowell. Emily Joy McMichael. Marcus Leyland Hood. Okay. Virginie Mathelier. Candace Marie Meek. Siloam Moon. Crystal Lynn Morris, magna cum laude. Danielle Regina Napier. Ashley Elizabeth Peavy. Lydia Leanne Peavy, cum laude. Jacob Thaddeus Peed. Samantha Ann Marie Price. Ashton Chandler Satterfield. Megan Lee Schofield. Kelsey Irene Self. Jamal Thomas Simpkins. Crystal Janae Sims. 
Way to go, Brooke. Samantha Brooke Tome. Aubrey Nicole Wiley. Brianna Nicole Wilson, magna cum laude. Chandler Austin Wright, magna cum laude. Okay. Ileana Jacqueline Yanez Rueda. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Education are Alicia Destiny Adams, cum laude. Savannah Dawn Arwood. Amanda Valore Barnes. Right. What's it? Joshua Stephen Beck. Reagan Susan Bowman, cum laude. Christina Michelle Brown. Hannah Kathleen Brown. Elizabeth Sierra Cardin, cum laude. Jessica Lowell Carroll, cum laude. Leah Ellis Clark. Abigail Taylor Dent, cum laude. Shalancy Ashane Dariso. Brittany Alexis Frank. Franks, cum laude. Aliyah Sierra Gardner. Haley Nicole Green. Kendall Mackenzie Harp, magna cum laude. Michael Harvin. Jenna Catherine Holloman. Drew Elizabeth Hudson, cum laude. Caroline Grace Infinger, cum laude. Rebecca Grace Johnson, summa cum laude. Savannah Nicole Kendrick. Cameron Lee King. Heather Morgan Kirby. Elsie Bernard Marshall II, cum laude. Samantha Marie Martinez, summa cum laude. Talon Elise Mason. Anna Mariah Masters. <laughs> Hannah Laura Maxwell, summa cum laude. <laughs> Kayla Lee Mercer. <laughs> Aubrey, 
Oralia Mari Oguan, summa cum laude. Emily Elizabeth Oliver. Jessica Orsiega. Brittany Raven Page. Whitney Ann Perkins, cum laude. Lily Dean Pickle. Carrie Michelle Ray, magna cum laude. Mary Elizabeth Ritchie. Ashley Claire Roberts, magna cum laude. Caitlin Dan Danielle Schmidt. Adele Macy Simmons, cum laude. Carly Claire Snow, summa cum laude. Maggie Elizabeth Souter, magna cum laude. Sydney Lynn Stevens. Lauren Elizabeth Stubbs. Madeline Rose Tuggle, magna cum laude. Okay. Levy Lauren Walsh, summa cum laude. Kaylee Lynn White. Kaylin Michelle Whitley, cum laude. Kadesha Danielle Williams, cum laude. Jesse Clayton Wilson. Amber Nicole Winter. Kelsey Danae Womack, summa cum laude. Did it again. Logan Malone Wooleridge, magna cum laude. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Nursing, the Bachelor of Science in Long-Term Care Management, and the Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science are Lindsay Faith Alford, cum laude. Ashlyn Nicole Baker. Jada Nicole Barfield, cum laude. Colby Guy Bearden. Brianna, Brianna Ray Branham. Madison Ann Cheek, magna cum laude. Morgan Elizabeth Christian, cum laude. Austin Keith Watson Cobb, cum laude. Tyler Matthew Cobb, cum laude. Coven, okay. Shelby Elizabeth Coven. Okay. Alicia Lakeisha Sade Will Crawford. Close enough. Meg Catherine Crawford, magna cum laude. Okay. Chavis Oriana Josephine Dunbar. Yeah. 
Abigail Heath Franklin. Shannon Elizabeth Mary Gibson. Eduarda Hanna Dib Giusti, summa cum laude. Janice D. Godden. Gooden? Oh well. Tamia Danae Grant. Haley Dawn Griffin. James Horton Griffith. Carrie Beatrice Hawkins. Natalie Marulanda. Madison Hope McLeroy, cum laude. Parker Edward Munn, cum laude. Allison Elise Murdoch. Ashley Sherelle Polk. New E. Fom. Laney Grace Pollock. Karis Nicole Ruiz. Gabrielle Rene Samuels. Jenna Teresa Singleton. Victoria Lynn Stewart. You want me to put the L in, right? Yeah. <laughs> Michael Alexander Sutton. Jaden Malane Thompson, magna cum laude. Anna Claire Tipper, summa cum laude. Megan Faye Townsend, magna cum laude. Mayor Elizabeth Ashlyn Updake, cum laude. Madison Brooke Watson. Kayla Ayana Wimberly. Krishanda Trini Worthy. Okay. Worthy. Kindle Michelle York. Zuniga? Brian Zuniga. Congratulations. Before, before we leave, I want you to know and I want you to remember that your diploma 
is more than just a piece of paper. It is a symbol of what you are and what you have done. It is proof that you have what it takes to be successful and that no matter what life puts in your way, you will overcome and you will succeed. You have done very, very well. Will all of the undergraduates and the graduates please rise? You have one more thing to do. I know that you love those hats. I know it, I know it. And I know you're gonna wear it to dinner tonight and you're probably gonna wear it next week out to the baseball game. But now that you're a graduate, you move the tassel from the right to the left and you always wear it on the left. If I could get everyone to please stand and join all of us along with Dr. Julie Meganson as she leads us in the singing of the alma mater. And if you will remain standing until the academic recession has ended.